As a farmer, if you keep cows, you will know that each cow will generate income for you. Imagine you have your own field, which happily supports your four cows. You'll know it will generate a healthy income. You may think about keeping a fifth cow, but the reality is as your field becomes overgrazed, your cows won't thrive and your income will go down. So to look after your field and bring long-term prosperity, you stick with your four cows. Now let's think about an area of common land. It's about three times as big as your field. Any of the local farmers have the right to graze their cows on the common. It can support 12 cows, happily. So farmer A brings in his four cows and generates income for himself. Farmer B does the same, as does farmer C. Now imagine farmer C decides to add one more cow to the mix. What happens? Well, the common can't really support all these animals. The cows don't thrive as much. The income per cow goes down. But even with a lesser yield per cow, farmer C is likely to be better off. He's getting five times a slightly lower income. Farmer A and C aren't likely to reduce their stock levels to compensate. They may even choose to add extra cows themselves. The group of farmers don't act in their collective interests. Over time, the common becomes poorer and poorer. It's not good for the farmers and it's not good for the cows. That is the tragedy of the commons.